What's up guys? I'm gonna show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 9.3.3 without a computer. What is this, jailbreak me days? Guys, this is insane. Just the fact that today we can jailbreak the latest firmware from Apple through our web browser. I mean, this really brings back some serious nostalgia for me. And when you slide to jailbreak it, you're gonna see some downloading jailbreak data and that's, this will take a while, so I'll be right back. So I'm gonna go ahead and run through this with you guys now. First off, I just wanna cover should you jailbreak, should you not, of course. Click on those videos if you haven't already. Uh, you know, it is a good thing to watch through just because not everybody knows everything there is to know about jailbreaking and there's a lot of important topics to cover. This jailbreak is semi-untethered, so if you guys turn your device off or lose power, you will not be able to open up Cydia or any tweaks without going into the app, clicking on the circle, and uh, clicking the power button. It takes, what, like 20 seconds each time, so it's a very, very convenient jailbreak. Don't think of the semi-tethered jailbreak as a detriment. Really, it's not. So, uh, guys, I'm so excited to show you how to do this. It is so, so simple. First off, I'm going to grab my unjailbroken iPhone 6S Plus on 9.3. 3.3 and uh, just to confirm that I am running that firmware there it is with night shift and everything and wow guys I'm just so blown away by this but anyways I want you guys to navigate to this website right here webflames.net slash jailbreak slash so I'll have a link down below make sure the J in jailbreak is capitalized otherwise it will not load so once you do have this loaded on this page it's as simple as clicking install install the PP jailbreak and using this method you don't actually have to put your Apple ID in so it's verified right away really it's a little bit safer than other methods however this may stop working if the app is ever you know just not signed anymore but in that case you would have to go to the computer and do the jailbreak with a computer but for now it is working perfectly and you guys do not need a computer go ahead and click on this well actually we can't open it yet so let's go into settings and we're gonna go back into general scroll down to device management, find that profile and trust it. So this is the real deal. Don't be sketched about anything. We're gonna jump right back into it and make sure to select okay to notifications. This is part of the exploit. Click on the circle and you should see this text and just click the power button and that's it. So your device should light up and you should see a little prompt. So this will take about one to two to three minutes and uh, just leave it. Don't touch anything. You can go in, but there's really no point. Your device is doing the jailbreak in the background. In a moment here, it will respring and we will be fully jailbroken on iOS 9.3.3. By the way, this works on 9.3.2, 9.3.1, 9.3. 9.2.1 and 9.2 and it's only for 64-bit devices probably should have said that in the beginning but iPhone 5, 5C, iPhone 4S are not supported and as far as I know the iPad Pro 9.7 and iPod Touch 6th generation at this point in time are having some difficulties with this jailbreak so maybe that'll be patched in a future version okay so no response there we go so the device has just resprung we slide over and boom, there is Cydia on our device. Don't worry, this isn't a scam, this is the real deal working Cydia. So I'm gonna simulate real quick what'll happen if you turn your device off. I'm gonna turn it off real quick. So after restarting, nothing will work, none of your tweaks, not even Cydia will open. So you wanna go into this P uh, jailbreak tweak, and here you wanna go ahead and select OK, and select the ring once again. So just like last time, we're gonna lock the device and it's gonna go through its process again. This time it will be faster. It's the first time that it takes you know, the longest amount of time. Now it's gonna be much faster. So this is basically what you need to do every time your battery dies or you restart your device. Really not a deal breaker by any means, but you know, a little bit of an inconvenience. Hopefully they can figure out how to go around this, but if they don't, not so bad. And guys, upon opening Cydia, I want you guys to search for Apple File Conduit 2 and install this right away. This is a crucial part of the jailbreak and for some reason it's not installed right away. So you do need to install this to ensure that uh, the jailbreak runs properly and smoothly. 